My name is Tong Chin Zhou. I'm uh, working at the Vaccine Research Center at uh, NIAID and National Institute of Health. The main goal here is try to get a HIV vaccine, but I mean, it turns out it's a very difficult case for a study. Right now I'm uh, working under Tong Ching and he's teaching me all the techniques that we use in protein crystallography and we're looking at different antibodies that target HIV effectively so we can try to design a vaccine for HIV. There's a lot of patients that um, they uh, have a HIV infection but they don't, uh, they, they don't progress on, on the disease. So we call them elite controllers. So in their blood, there's a lot of antibodies that protects the, uh, them from being uh, the, the progression of the disease. So this is how we grow our proteins of interest, so our antibodies or the proteins from HIV. Basically what we do is we take our gene and we insert it into a plasmid and then we transfect uh, mammalian cells. So these are mammalian cells and basically what they're doing is they're just expressing this protein. So they're producing a whole bunch of it and so we let them grow for a long time at 37 degrees which is normal human temperature and then we kill them all and we extract our protein and then we try to crystallize it to determine the structure. So we identified a site of vulnerability on the HIV GP1 protein. That's the first initial site that uh, HIV attached to our human uh, cell receptor, CD4. So that's a site is conserved for the uh, virus attachment, can also be attacked by antibodies. So we identified a broad neutralizing antibody we called VRC01. Then that, an that antibody actually was the most potent antibody against HIV. It neutralized more than 91% uh, current circul circulating HIV strains. Now we have a very good antibody in hand. The, pr the question is uh, how do we reproduce this process in the general population? If we can ever succeed on that, that's a HIV vaccine.